In this video, we'll be discussing about the structural functional relationship of monosaccharides under these categories. Structure of monosaccharides, physical properties and chemical properties. So the best example we have taken to explain all these properties so that is glucose along with the fructose. So whenever we are talking about structure of monosaccharide, the best example we can give is glucose. Why? Because glucose is the most important physiological and biomedical uh, bio, uh, monosaccharide. It can be represented in three forms. One is straight chain structure. Second one is ring form. Third one is boat and chair conformations. Right. In solutions, glucose always exists in ring form rather than in straight chain. So this is the straight chain structure of glucose. So being a aldohexose, we all can see here, aldehyde group is there and the number of carbons, right? So aldehyde group is there and number of carbons, 6 carbons, right? So this is the straight chain and the structure of monosaccharides firstly elucidated by email fissure so this straight chain known as email fissure straight chain projection formula so that is c6 h2o6 that means the number of carbons are 6 and the number of hydrogens are 12 and the number of oxygens are 6 so coming to the ring or cyclic structure okay so that is known as havertz projection formula so the straight chain proposed by email fissure and the ring structure proposed by Haworth. This is a, he's a scientist okay, who has proposed this uh, ring structure form for glucose. Okay. So in Haworth projection formula here rather than straight chain glucose exists in ring form and how this straight chain modified to ring form. Okay. So we will see here. To convert this straight chain into ring form, there should be oxide linkage between C1 and C5 carbons. Okay, there should be a oxide linkage between C1 and C5. Okay, so the mark, uh, I mean the coloring of the carbon is C5, the green color, radium green. Okay, and the blue color, what I have mentioned, okay, in the first carbon that is aldehyde group. So there is an oxide linkage. So this straight chain glucose converted to glucopyranose. That means whenever there is a oxide linkage between C1 and C5, that compound that uh, glucose is known as glucopyranose. Okay, still it is a ring uh, straight chain structure. And this glucopyranose converted to ring form by Havert projection formula, glucopyranose. You see here, I will draw in simple terms. Okay, this is C1. This is C2, this is C3, this is C4, this is C5. So what we have uh, uh, explained in the beginning, there is oxide linkage between C1 and C5, right? So C1 and C5 is there, so oxide linkage, okay. Now how to segregate, how to segregate? the hydroxyl and hydrogens around these carbons in ring form okay whatever the hydroxyl groups present on the right side will come to the below the bottom of the ring okay above i mean below the plane of the ring and the molecules which are present on the right side of the carbon in straight chain will form above the plane of the ring right you see here So first carbon, what it is having? OH is there. So below and hydrogen will be above. And second carbon, OH is on the downside. Hydrogen and third carbon, hydrogen is on the right side. Okay, so it will come below the plane of the ring and OH is above the plane of the ring. And fourth carbon, same. Hydroxyl group will be below plane of the ring and hydrogen will be the top. And when you are coming to the fifth carbon, there is no OH because 
this OH hydroxyl group participated in oxide linkage with the first carbon. Okay, only hydrogen left, it will come below plane of the ring. Okay, and above we left with six carbon CH2OH. Right, this way we can convert straight email fissure straight chain of glucose into Havert uh, ring form glucopyranose. So whenever there is a, a conversion, I mean there is conversion of straight chain into ring form in middle conformation that is known as hemiacetal. The oxide linkage wherever there is forming hemiacetals or hemiketals. If, if this oxide linkage is forming in glucose that is known as hemiacetal. If this oxide linkage is forming in the fructose that is known as hemiketal. So when you are coming to this fructose conversion. Okay, you say same here. There is an oxide linkage between C2 and C5, not with the C1. Okay, because there is already an alcohol, primary alcoholic group in the first carbon. So it cannot participate in the oxide linkage. So the oxide linkage between in fructose, okay, the oxide linkage between C2 and C5. But in glucose, the oxide linkage between C1 and C5. So here what I can say here, C2 I am writing here, C2, C3, C4, C5. So there is oxide linkage between C5 and C2. So when you are coming uh, coming to arranging the molecules, okay, the right side substances are the molecules and carbon comes in the below plane of the ring and the left side substance or molecules present in the uh, uh, left side of the carbon come above the plane of the ring. So what do we have? CH2OH, OH, OH. And second carbon, we have hydrogen. And third carbon, OH, H. And fifth carbon, there what do we have? Hydrogen. And CH2OH is a sixth carbon. So this way we can convert fructose also, state chain form of fructose into ring form. That is known as fructofuranose. Okay, not pyranose, it is furanose. Coming to the chair and boat forms of glucose. Okay, these are also the forms of glucose which can form the structures. Okay, compared to the boat form, chair form of the structure is stable one. Okay.